everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you're doing great wherever you are welcome once again to my uh, video tutorial where i'm going to show you how to conduct mps integration using python i know i've been doing a series of video uh, on mps integration because I, I i believe that these are these are these are an, an enabling that safaricom gave to developers uh, for to enable and leverage on this to create uh, uh, very uh, interesting projects out there so i'm going to share with you uh, and i'll be sharing with you a series of video on the same and this video uh, is also related to s integration but uh, different from the previous video where i've been using php as my programming language today i'm going to use python to conduct and pace integration and i believe this is going to help uh, some of you who have been asking uh, me from the comment section and from my emails to conduct a video on uh, mpesa integration using python uh, i'm not going to use any complex uh, frameworks or uh, libraries i'm just going to use a simple uh, python standalone file uh, by standalone, I mean there are no complex frameworks or libraries. These are just simple uh, packages that have been imported and uh, simple variables and functions to to make sure that uh, the, 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 the program stays simple and precise. So follow me along throughout the video and you'll get to learn. So uh, with me, uh, I have two files. My first file is uh, I've named it access token.py. Uh, and then in this file, I have some libraries and packages that I've imported that is requests to enable us uh, conduct a HTTP request. Uh, we have a JSON that will help us format the JSON uh, response that we will get from Safaricom. And we have uh, these other files that will help us uh, uh, with specific functions within the program. The base64, it will help us convert uh, some uh, text into base64 for passwords date time as it goes that is for data time so in this file i'm going to just to to run some codes to enable us get an access token you understand that for you to conduct any to use any service or apis within within a Daraj api or a Daraj api portal you have to get the access token and uh, it is the first step that you need to to to, to conduct so I'm, I'm generating the access token using the consumer secret and the consumer key details which i get from the safaricom portal so i'd suggest if you don't have uh, you've not signed in into that portal please visit the website which you'll find it in my description uh, description uh, section and uh, register and you'll get all these details so I have my all my credentials here with me and I have classes. I've decided to use classes so that uh, I, I limit the repetition of codes. So I have the classes and uh, I've conducted, I've, I'm using this code to generate uh, access, uh, access token. I'm passing all my credentials into, into this get request and uh, I am printing the response that i'm getting so i'm using json.dump to at, at least to format or to pass the, the 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 json response that i'm getting and indent for just to format i'll show you the response that i'll get it in the terminal so the the rest of the code is just uh, some variables as you can see these are variables and uh, you need to provide the na the phone number and uh, the amount the transaction type uh, with me, I'm doing customer pay bill online. So these are the these are details that you can just easily uh, fill in. So and the next file, I'm going to run the program and you'll see what I'm getting. The next file, I'm importing some variables and, and classes from the previous from the previous file, and that's why you see Python has automatically generated this file this file here. To show that this this is a package in itself so and in this file i've also imported json and requests and other variables and uh, and uh, variables and uh, 
classes from the previous file. So in this folder, I've created a function called lip and mpesa online. And this function takes a variable, takes in a variable or an argument uh, request, which is described in the previous file. As you can see, I've imported it here. I've imported it here from the previous file. This is the, 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 the variable that I'm importing. So all these details are fed into this, into this function. And I'm using the details uh, together with the access token of which I've imported here to generate, uh, to, 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 to send a post request. And from the post request, I'm getting a response of which I'm printing. So, and then I'm calling the function here so that it can run the program. Now, let me run the program and see, and let's see the, 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 the type of response that we are getting. So I've run the file. Uh, as you can see, I've gotten the first response, which is just like a, is a, like a Python dictionary. And also in my phone, I've received a notification asking me if I want to pay uh, uh, some amount to the Rajas API. So I can pay from my phone. And the second response, the second response that we are getting is a, a, a success response showing that the SDK push has been sent successfully to the to the customer whose number has been provided in the variables above. So as you can see, the, the, the response is quite uh, readable and pretty due to the, the, the this, ki this kind of uh, code that I'm using here. I'm using indent4 at least to space the, 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 the response uh, uh, away from the margin. As you can see, it tells, it tells me that it's a success request, request accepted for processing. So in my in my next videos or later video, I'll be I'll be uh, I'll be I'll be getting the response from the from Safaricom uh, once the user has decided to pay or not to pay, uh, but I'll be using PHP to get the response, and uh, after getting the response, I'll, I'm, I'll format the response and uh, process it so that we can uh, give an action. So this is a project that, uh, that uh, I'll, I'll be working on as time goes by. So be keen to follow it. Uh, and uh, uh, you can click the notification button so that you can be notified of any video. So that is it. That is how you generate access token using Python. And, uh, uh, and you send an SDK push using Python standalone. You can also, you can as well, decide to have all these uh, all this code in one file so it is your choice i decided to place them in different files so that it can be neat and easily to go through uh, lastly maybe to remind you that in this file under class mpesa credentials i'm using my consumer key and my consumer secret so if you if you're not uh, registered or signed in in the mpesa portal please i'll advise you Follow the link in my description box. Go create an account with uh, Safaricom Mpesa. Just um, uh, create an API and you'll be provided with these details. A consumer key and a consumer secret. Uh, or else you'll be provided also with a pass key of which you'll need in this, in this space. Uh, lastly, I've decided to use classes and functions so that my codes may be neat. If you if you if you if you don't know about object oriented programming, please go and uh, do some research and uh, learn on how to use object oriented programming. It's really crucial. It's not necessary to conduct this program, but it's crucial. It helps you a lot. So thank you guys. Uh, I've provided the code in my description box. You can follow the link to my GitHub account. Download the code. Paste it in your program and uh, see on how uh, the, the, the code will behave. You can as well comment, share, you can share, comment, uh, give a suggestion on the comment section and I'll create time to see that I've responded to them. Thank you guys, welcome.